Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a glam Christmas vignette, and so that's what we're gonna do today. If you like this video, I hope you will consider subscribing. And also, if you wouldn't mind, I would love if you could share it. So our first project is actually also a trash to treasure. I got this Halloween sign on clearance at the Goodwill. I paid $1.50 for it and I just painted over it with my Apple Barrel black chalk paint. So I'm gonna be using some of these crystals. Um, you can get these at Dollar Tree, but I think it has like three in a row instead of four. This is my ruler that I use all of the all the time and I'm gonna glam that up too since this is a glam uh, project. So first you wanna get your design figured out and written out and I made sure I wrote down the fonts I used on my Cameo silhouette so that I could let you guys know. This is a Dollar Tree ornament. I used it in a previous project and so it's torn apart, but we're gonna use it. Um, the black ribbon bows that I used for some centerpieces, the Cameo, the tools associated with that, my scissors, and the, this is a little pack of trees um, from the Dollar Tree. And then I had some leftover sparkly silver vinyl that I'm gonna be using um, to spell out the words that we're gonna put on the sign. And it matches the little stripes that are already on there, which I kept. And then some white vinyl. This is actually the Cricut brand that you get at Walmart. And then some transfer tape, which is actually contact paper, clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree that has been just awesome and you guys all uh, recommended using that so i'm first going to measure how i want to put the words on the sign and then that's also going to give me a guide to know how big to make the words on the cameo so i'm going to first cut out the ones that are silver and as you can see this is a scrap piece of glitter paper from my sister's 50th birthday centerpieces and i'm going to cut out the words o and tree because those are the same font and they're going to be in the same color and i'm going to take off the top layer of that uh, glittery vinyl and this was a little bit tricky because the glitter paper is kind of thin, but also um, the letters that I chose, the font that I chose has a um, kind of an intricate pattern. And it's, it, as you can see, it's blank in the middle. So anyway, then I cut out the Christmas in between, which is gonna be in the white vinyl. And I wanted to make sure that the way it was laid out would give me enough room to place my trees at the bottom. So as you can see, it's oh Christmas tree and then the Christmas trees at the bottom. So after I put on the transfer tape, I'm just going to rub it down with the squeegee. The pulling off of this tape was kind of tricky because it wanted to stay on the vinyl. So I just let the paper backing rip and um, then just pulled off the paper backing separately. So um, I got the top word on and then the bottom word. I always recommend doing the first and last of whatever it is you're doing so that if you are um, trying to make something, you know, um, level or equal separated perfectly you can measure it that way so that you can just do it you know by sight and don't have to really measure to get it centered properly so now i'm taking the bases off of these little trees and to make it go flat against the board i'm going to cut off the back of these um, bottle brush trees and i kind of push them together and they stay um, together nicely they just kind of stick together naturally so now i'm using some of that roving yarn somebody had recommended that i use that as uh, snow so that's what i did here and i wanted to make sure that the little wire i guess trunks of the trees were going to show so i made the roving yarn look kind of like a, a little snow bank or you know swirly kind of and then just glued down my two trees to the to the wood and actually the the plaque itself it's i think it's press board and plastic or something it's it's not heavy and it's not real wood 
Um, so anyway, I just put that all together and here it is all lined up and ready to go. So now when I was painting that square, my edges, I wanted to get rid of the orange glitter that was uh, around it. And so I wanted to hide my raw edges. So I just took some of the crystal bling and to glam it up some more, I just put it over the raw edges there. And I put the top piece down first. And when you're putting anything in a straight line like this, you wanna really make sure that it's straight because any little irregularity is gonna really show because this was a pretty long line. So um, when I put it down, I made sure that I lined up the top crystals with the, the top of the sideways crystals if that makes sense so that you have a perfectly straight top line and they all lined up um, and then when you glue it down just glue the tops of them first and then that way you can kind of put your finger there and hold it tightly so that you can um, pull it pretty taut and that'll make it a little more straight and then just go ahead and go all the way down. And then the bottoms, it's you're gonna glue them down, but then they'll be covered by the little roving yarn um, snow down there at the bottom. So now I'm going to embellish the top using this Dollar Tree ornament and I had taken it apart before so it wasn't attached so I decided to put one of the little black bows in the middle there and so I had to make another one because the one that was pre-made for the um, centerpieces was it had a little dirt on it so anyway I just made a bow and made sure that all of the shiny sides were facing up just just twist it until it um, shows on the top and then tighten it up it starts with small loops and then you can pull it and it should get to the right size that you want for your bow and then you put it in between the two pieces of the snowflakes and then I'm gonna cut the tails at an angle um, and depending on how long I want them, what looks right. And here it is all done and I think it turned out really cute and I'm glad I went with this font so that you could see the black between the silver so that it wasn't just too much silver but um, I set this next to the tree that I made um, in my aunt's craft room and I'll link that video below in case you would like to see that and how I made it I'm going to put all of the projects that we make in this video together at the end. So this one was the first one, um, but the others we'll just put all together, including this one, on my mantle. So since I'm not really a bling person, or that's not what I'm decorating in this year, I just want you to be able to see that you can do any kind of style. Um, that you want, just it's whatever you like. And all of these items you can get from the Dollar Tree. So I think this turned out really good and doesn't look cheap by any means, even though I think the total cost would have been about maybe $4, $5. So for the next project, we're gonna be using these glittery reindeer, um, two of these tall candles from the Dollar Tree, the uh, another black bow, um, and actually I'm going to use the ribbon and I don't use the bow. That's right. And then this dowel I got from Walmart. Um, I think it's like a yard. So I had Michael J cut that in, uh, in the miter saw for me. 
so that I could hold the camera. And then I just made them two different sizes because I want them staggered, one a little bit taller than the other. So I did a little science experiment here. I put the candle inside the microwave for about one minute um, and I wanted to stick the dowel into the wax. So by heating it up, it was easy to just shove it down in there. And then when it cooled, it's completely in place and it's, it's um, nice and secure. So I did that for both of them and they are two different heights, but here you can see they're nice and sturdy. So that glitter is just, I mean, there's a lot of glitter and it gets everywhere. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and paint the front anyway using this black and I made a little curve at the top for the reindeer head. I left the antlers, the silver glitter, um, and just painted the rest of his body and the legs with the apple barrel uh, black chalk paint. You can paint the back side as well, but I didn't, um, but that'll keep a lot of the glitter from coming off in your hands. Now I'm using this, um, it's like this vintage snow stuff that I got from my aunt's craft room. And since the paint is still wet, or when it's still wet, I went ahead and just um, sprinkled it all over and here and kind of pushed it down with my hand and um, it stayed really well. And it, it's not like the glitter that comes off everywhere. This stayed in place. Now you can also get this uh, snowy stuff from Dollar Tree as well. So. I just used the the uh, snow that my uh, aunt had and I liked it. But you can totally use the other one too. Um, so now I'm gonna wrap the top of these candles with the black satin ribbon. And I just made a line, a fold with my fingernail to see um, where I was gonna fold it over and give it a finished edge. So I just glued that down and then glued the whole thing over and it just gives it a nice finished edge and there's no fraying. Although I did learn from a viewer to use a lighter and fray the, or, or singe the edges with it and it'll keep it from fraying and that totally worked so well. I'm getting a lot of really good um, suggestions and helpful hints and I really do appreciate everybody taking the time to give me all these uh, hints and and uh, tips that are really, really good and so helpful. Um, so now I'm gluing the rhinestone ribbon over on top and then, you know, just wrapping it around and gluing it again. And make sure that you put your seams to the back edge of your um, candle holders so that they don't show even though they're nice and finished. but. Now I wanted to go ahead and paint the sticks. You could leave these, um, the natural wood, because they're kind of a um, off-white color, so they would match, but I just decided to cover them. Anyway, um, I found these sprigs at Dollar Tree. They're silver, some kind of silver, you know, um, foliage, but to me, they look like little trees. So I'm going to stick those into the warm wax and, um, just let them sit there and it kind of camouflages the fact that these are candles so you don't see the candle uh, tops at all. And I had originally thought I was going to add that black bow somewhere on here but I think it looked so good and so glam I just left it the way it was. So now I'm going to attach the reindeer to the dowel and I just marked a, the line with my nail of where I want to put uh, the E6000 and so I just put it along that line um, of where the dowel is going to go and then just to make it stick instantly I used some hot glue as well and then just pushed it onto the dowel and here it is all attached. I used a piece of masking tape just temporarily just so that it would hold um, since it's it's a little heavy it's not the reindeer itself is not heavy it's just that because it's high up on a dowel it's um, a little top heavy so um, anyway so for our next project I'm going to use two of these Dollar Tree candle holders that you've seen a million times 
two of these Christmas tree or you know cone shaped styrofoam pieces some more of the rhinestone ribbon a package of the white rose petals that you get in the wedding section and all I'm gonna do is use hot glue to attach the styrofoam to the top of the candle holder these candle holders were used for another centerpiece and so they have some gold rhinestones on there but I'm just gonna one by one attach these rose petals oh and don't have the ceiling fan on when you're doing this but just hot glue with one little dot of glue um, in the middle each of these petals and I wanted them to kind of stick up or flare outward and so I'm actually putting them on backwards so if you would have put it the regular way where it's the, how the pedal you know that what would be considered the top of the pedal it would go inward but i wanted it to go outward so i just flipped them over and um, made them kind of just flare out so when you're putting them down after you get the first row done you're gonna go in between each of the petals so they're staggered kind of like a brick um, you know brickwork how that would go so I'm gonna end up doing this all the way to the top and then I'm going to cover the top as well. I was so happy with how this was turning out. It, was, um, it just looks so pretty and soft and sweet and I just loved it. Um, of course, you have to always get your glue strings off. Now I did get a um, recommendation to put glue sticks in the freezer and that will cause fewer of those uh, glue gun strings. So I did try that afterwards and it really, really helped. So I appreciate that. Now I'm just using the rhinestone ribbon to cover the base and I'll, I know that's kind of predictable on these, but I think it just glammed it up so much and it looks so pretty and sparkly and shiny. So for the second tree, I had actually done some pearls and some more of that glitter, but I strongly disliked it um, and I, tore it all apart <laughs> and that happens but you have to see before you know so now what I did was I had these um, icicles and I attached these you can get these at the Dollar Tree um, a different kind but um, Walmart also has the big packs for I think it's like three dollars um, anyway I'm just gonna hot glue these to the styrofoam and because it's wider at the bottom you're going to have these little gaps so i took smaller icicles and placed those in between and at the bottom i let the i let it overhang and those are actually where you would be hanging the icicles from so they're actually upside down but i think it made it look like a cute trim and it turned out really cute. Um, I'm really happy with, with this one, especially since I already had these icicles and didn't have to go out and buy something else. But if you see, see them, you know, um, grab them and you can make this adorable tree. I was gonna put the little ball on top, but it totally was too casual and so I decided not to, um, but as you can see on this one, I had the ball on that as well, but didn't like it. So I tore him off. And then here's my little stash of finials and knobs. And so I'm trying to decide which one I like better. I ended up going with the larger one. So in order to place him in there, I cut a little slit in the top um, little petals and then hot glued on top so that I could place the screw inside of the styrofoam and it just pushed right down in there and then I'm going to take some more of the rhinestones and I just cut a single strip with just one line and I uh, hot glued those both of those to the bottom part so you couldn't see the silver hardware so then I just fluffed her up and she was ready to go so for our last project, I have this mercury glass vase with the lid, um, a 
Dollar Tree, Charlie Brown tree, and I had a piece of styrofoam that I just stuck a hole into to get the tree in there. I took off the bottom part, you can see on the right, right hand side, and then I just fluffed him out. Um, he's gonna go obviously in into the vase. Um, I didn't use the lid, but it's just in the little vignette just sitting next to it. But I hot glued the styrofoam to the bottom of the vase and then I took the tree outside to give it a little bit of glimmer by using some chrome spray paint. Um, I was just going to do the tips of it, but then it took the paint so well and I really loved the color and the look. So. I just went ahead and spray painted the entire thing. I got it from all sides. I stuck it into a plastic megaphone um, so that it would stand up and, and I painted it and then I turned it upside down and got it from all sides. So I think it turned out really good and that's something that I've seen on Olivia's um, Romantic Home channel and she spray paints a lot of her trees. So you should check out her channel for sure. So now I'm just taking a piece of that fuzzy felt and using it to cover the opening. Um, I just used a scrap piece and put a, um, a slit in it so I could wrap it around and kind of tuck it inside. And then using some more of these icicles, I'm just using a tinsel um, wire to attach them so you can't see uh, the hook. I found this little bird at the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love him. He's silver and pretty and I had uh, some silver stems and I had some feathers from a stick uh, that I think was from Michael's. But I'm just gonna take those and cut them off and make a little topper bundle for the, the top of the tree. And so I just place them together and there's some really pretty silver leaves right there that you can see. They're kind of lacy and really soft. And then I had these, these are actually like a really deep, deep dark purple, but you can't tell, I don't think, um, when you have it next to all of the silver. And so I just put those all together and then I had those um, Dollar Tree sticks that have like glitter on them and just broke a few of those off as well and stuck it all together with some paddle wire and put that at the top of the tree with a black the black bow there and the little bird and here's what it looks like all together I think it turned out really pretty and I think it's total glam um, with everything all put together I think it is really striking and looks expensive even though we all know it's not um, these reindeer i think just kind of steal the show because they're just so glittery i wish you could see it in person but um, the textures and the shininess of it all is so pretty i think um, i put some christmas lights they had the green cords so it would show so i had to take some batting and cover that and it actually gave it such a soft glow again um, just making everything sparkle from behind and i think this is the total epitome of glam I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did I wish you would uh, share it um, subscribe to this channel so we can grow it 
I've been trying to get to every comment. I appreciate so much everything everybody has said and all of the helpful hints you've given me. Um, don't forget we're having our Cricut drawing on December 1st. So we've got a lot of entrance on that and I'm really excited to give it away to one person and bless them with a Cricut cutting machine. Um, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. And most importantly, I hope everyone has a blessed Christmas, a blessed week, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.